Greetings everyone and welcome back to Terraria where today we am gonna start things off with uh, getting some trinket upgrades specifically getting this shield to well the next stage which uh, requires an obsidian skull which in turn obviously requires me to get some obsidian so we'll be paying a little visit down to hell uh, to see if we can get our hands on oh actually there's a pretty decent amount over here so Let's start things off with that, and I'm planning to do a few trinket upgrades. Uh, unfortunately, I just now realized that I need a magma stone in order to make the, the Terra Spark boots. It's actually the only thing I'm missing, I think. So maybe we can kill some like uh, mobs in hell, and that should uh, hopefully get me one. Uh, but if we don't get it, it it's fine, really. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, I'm still way too far up. Right now, the, the focus is getting some obsidian. Uh, just so I can keep upgrading that shield. Because I think I have a lot of the pieces. Uh, or like a lot of the trinkets that just give you immunity to different stuff. And I would like to combine as many of them as possible. Okay, so that's it. Go this way. Like so, yeah, that's a very decent amount of obsidian, I gotta say. Not sure how exactly it formed, but I'll take it. Okay, let's get all of it. Okay, Mr. Sword, actually, let me spawn. I forgot to get my buffs, so we'll just stick with tier 1 dragon. Uh, okay, let's get a bunch of this obsidian. And I'll do, like, uh, okay, a few mobs down in hell, but... I'm not gonna go too crazy about it. Okay. I think that's probably enough obsidian. Yeah, okay, that should be plenty. So, let's make our way down here. And see if we can get our hands on a lava stone. Or a magma stone, I should say. So basically the deal is, uh, we take the magma stone over to the shimmer. And that's where... Is this? Oh, it's a mimic! It's a crimson mimic, in fact. That's a lot of the... Okay. I'm not really sure how exactly I managed to get myself killed so fast, but... Uh... Yeah, that was something, isn't it? Or wasn't it? Okay, let, let me get my buffs, because uh, I'm gonna forget again. But we did get the obsidian, at least, so... It is something. It's a shame we missed out on that mimic. Okay, so let's see. Obsidian. Where is the obsidian? Why? Oh, there we go. So, uh, now we need to craft this into the skull. So what does that require us to make? There we go. And we're looking at... Oh, it's literally pure obsidian. Okay, that's nice. That should be pretty simple. We'll make two of them. Since I need one for the, the shield and one for the boots when we eventually get our hands on uh, that magma stone. Which I foolishly sold, thinking I don't need it. Okay, so now I should be able to come over here and craft myself an obsidian shield. So now we have immunity to knockback and immunity to fire blocks. Now the question is, what is the next step? Let's see. So we're looking at a Nang charm. Interesting. Okay. Grants immunity to knockback and fire blocks. Grants immunity to most debuffs. Okay. So seems like that's just one part of it. Now we gotta work on this Nang charm, which I'm guessing we get by just. Oh, did not mean to do that. Uh, I'm guessing we get it by combining all the other trinkets so let's see let me drop these off in here for now and let's collect all immunity trinkets that we have so that will be so it looks slowly i think the spores are part of it use a chance to dodge attacks i'm gonna check this one out i'm kind of curious uh we got these angry mothron wings I'm not sure if they're better than mine i gotta test them I, I kind of got them and just threw them in here. Completely forgot about them. Okay, let's see. Immunity to broken armor. There we go. That's one immunity item. 
Uh, then we have immunity to darkness. That's, uh, that's perfect. Do we have any other immunities? Turtle mount. Okay, so nothing in here. Let's check out the other chest. Immunity to slow. There we go. Uh, then we have... Oh, that seems nice. For like... Summoner build eventually. Immunity to weakness. Perfect, perfect. Do we have any... Any other immunities? Okay, that's not it. Dark Mage Trophy. It's not a trinket. Have some dice. And seems like that's the immunities of this chest. And the final one, let's see. Immunity to silence. Perfect, perfect. Grants the ability to float on the water. No, not really. Okay. Stuff of regrowth. That's not it. I'm sure I have more. Oh, there we go. We have the immunity to poison and bleeding. These ones are already combined, so that's that's pretty nice. And did I end up making this like the upgraded version of this thing? I need like the solar like uh, stone version of this thing. I don't think I ever made it. I gotta look into that again because that seems pretty decent. Drink it twice. It seems like that's all of the immunities we really have, so let's see if we can combine any of them. And oh, seems like we can make armor bracing with these two, so that's nice. And let's talk with the guide, see if we can make any more. So what does this combine with? Combines with Nazar. Immunity to curse, okay. Interesting. So I guess we cannot make that one yet. How about the clock? I have this. Okay, okay. I just need to find it. Uh, actually, was it in Chester? It is in Chester. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And am I missing... Or like, do I have any more? This is view range of guns. No, I don't think I have any more in Chester. Okay, fair enough. So, oh. Probably wanna go here. And now we can craft the plan. Okay, perfect. So I got this. What else? Uh, I wanted to check this black belt out. Uh, Mr. Cole, can you give me some guidance? So this combines with... Interesting. I'm not sure where I get these exactly. Uh, but we get this... Allows the ability to climb walls and dash. Gives a chance to dodge attacks. I mean, it seems kind of decent, not gonna lie. But is it better than the Brain of Cthulhu or uh, the Brain of Confusion? Because this one gives me like more damage after I dodge something, so... And also Confusion, so it's kind of decent. I don't know if I want to replace it. Alright, so how about this Blindfold? We're looking at... A pocket mirror. Okay. Immunity to petrification. So seems like we're actually quite a ways away still. Yeah, how are we looking at this? Okay, so this is how I make the Ang. And seems like we just need the anti-curse one. And that mirror. And we're pretty much done with everything. We'll be able to make uh, that Ang shield. Ang shield. Cannot uh, talk properly today. But uh, alright, we combined some trinkets, so I'm kind of happy with that. Now, the next thing we need to do is locate where exactly I put... Let's see. Sort these things a bit. And let's drop them off. And these chests really need some maintenance, don't they? i drop these off. Do we have any other trinkets? There we go. And I believe that should be everything. And drop off this obsidian over here. Perfect. Oh. I guess I don't have any obsidian. Interesting. I thought I at least had some, but uh, I guess not. Okay, let's uh, get rid of something I don't need. This silver can go. We'll replace it with obsidian. Why do I still keep these restoration potions? Those are not really useful anymore. I guess let's at least sell them to someone. And get some money back. And 
Where is... There we go. Is that a landmine? Interesting. So seems like some NPCs might have new things to sell. I haven't checked them in a while. Now this one always seems to just be... Wait, tree glow? Change how trees look. That actually sounds kind of interesting, I wanna try it. What do you mean changes how the trees look? Okay, so we have some trees over here. How exactly will they change? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. You know what? I think I like this. We'll keep it like this. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, other than that, though, let's uh, get back into checking about new trades. Let's see. It seems to be the same. I just want to make sure that we're not missing anything. I'm still waiting on that party to happen. Uh, but it doesn't really want to do it. Okay, anyway, uh, so let me locate some mechplasm. Where exactly did I, did I put that? Because I do want to make that uh, that naughty present. Uh, okay, let's see. Where would I put ectoplasm? Should be in here somewhere. Mm, I don't see it over here. Seems like we have another blindfold. Yeah, I really need to do a little bit of cleaning with, with my inventory because it's kind of getting ridiculous. Like the chest and stuff. It's pretty much full to the brim. I also do still need to track down all of the swords I need for the... the uh, not the Terrorblade, the Zenith. Since uh, I am kind of getting... I mean, I'm not really close to killing the Moon Lord, but I am kind of close to killing the Moon Lord. If you know what I mean, so... I would like to have those uh, other swords ready. Man, where did I put... Ectoplasm? I feel like it shouldn't be this difficult to find it. Mm. It's gotta be somewhere around here. There is no way I don't have any. I just don't feel like that's possible. Oh, there we go. It's in the last chest I looked. Alright, so I got that. What else do I need for the Frost Moon? I think I need hallowed, block, uh, hallowed uh, ingots actually. Which might require me to... Oh no, never mind. So it just sold the fright. And some silk. I think I have the silk. Do I have the souls though? So souls of fright. Uh, I'm not... Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, so... The soul of might is the destroyer. The soul of sight is the twins. So I guess it's Skeletron Prime that we need to fight. Alright, I mean, that, that's fine. We can take him out real quick. So, what exactly was his crafting recipe? I know it requires some souls. Let's see. So, it's uh, three souls of light, three souls of night, and some bones. Hold on a minute. Do I have bones? I don't actually think I have bones. Might have to go over to the dungeon. Get my hands on some bones then. Yeah, I don't think I have them. By the way, where did I put the silk? Because that's something... Oh, there we go. We found the silk. Now just... If we can manage to find the bone, like, well, 30 of them. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Uh, oh, we do actually have bones. Nice. Now, will I have enough time to kill him? I feel like I probably would. Oh, I need to get the souls. So light, so night. There we go. Actually, no, I probably don't have enough time. So I think we're gonna focus on building the arena uh, for the Frost Moon over at the Crimson Biome. And when the night time comes again, then we can fight some bosses. Uh, this silk for now can just chew in here, I guess. And okay, seems like we have everything really. So let me get some stone. 
Actually, the stone is on me. So let's turn it into grey bricks. Then we will make some platforms and go over to the crimson. And build up a little bit of a boss arena. Not gonna make it anything huge. Just I need a lot of space really. Okay, that should be plenty. So yeah, let's uh, go and build that. However, it's daytime. Well, it's about to turn into daytime anyway. Actually, which crimson should I use? Because this one is kind of small. Maybe I use this one. Actually, you know what? I already have a platform here. Why am I not using this? Seems like a much smarter idea. So let me go and modify our Moon Lord Arena a little bit. Uh, just so it can, it can accommodate a Frost Moon. And that pretty much means we want another few layers in the Crimson part. Uh, and we replace the, the asphalt with some platforms, at least temporarily. While we do the Frost Moon, and then when we go back to Moon Lord mode, we can place the asphalt back. Uh, but yeah, I, wanna uh, I kinda wanna have a few layers uh, when it comes to... Oh, stay back. When it comes to these invasions, I do like to have a few layers to work with. Man, asphalt is so nice. I'm moving at the speed of light, and still the Moon Lord somehow catched me. Stay back, come on. No need for this. Wait, is this the jungle? It is the jungle. Man, this crimson has spread quite far, hasn't it? Might have to do something about it at some point. Alright, so I guess around here should be fine. Actually, you know what, why do I... I guess I kinda wanna have the platform just because something might spawn below me. But then again... It should only be a problem for flyers. I think what I'm going to do... Instead of uh, building down... Let's just build up. I'm like here, I would say. Let's take care of you guys. Get some tattered cloth. I don't think I care about the goblin invasion, so I'll just ignore it. And probably want to make this about this tall for the first layer. We should probably also collect all of the geo we can get. Probably turn on control. That should make things a lot easier. And yeah, I probably won't even have to remove this for the Moondart fight. You can just keep it. Since it shouldn't cause any problems. I don't need this to be too huge. I think about this much. Should be fine. And then we'll turn off control. Build up again. I want to have at least one more layer. And I think that should be honestly fine. For the Frost Moon. And the reason we are doing it in the Crimson, as I said in the last episode, I want to get myself a Crimson Key for the Dungeon Chest. So that's why we are doing it here, since we'll kill plenty of mobs during the invasion. Gives me a pretty decent chance of getting the key. Alright, so what is the deal with all these Goblin Scouts? You're not welcome here. Okay. Not even gonna bother placing torches, I guess. I might as well, just so I can see what I'm doing. Not gonna hurt me really. Let's place a few torches. Uh, then we gotta move some bus statues over to here. Not, I guess it's daytime. Why don't I make this thing a little bit larger? It's not like I have a time limit on it. Not in a hurry. So let's uh, give some more breathing room. No reason not to. And I think about this much should be fine. So turn off control. And now since it is daytime and we cannot really fight anything uh, during the daytime, I'm gonna go back to my base and I'll actually head back down to hell uh, right after I check how much time we have though. Yeah, okay, we should have around 10 minutes. So, I do want to go back down to hell. Uh, just see if we can get uh, that magma stone. Because I would like to get my hands on some 
Terra Spark Boots, just so I know they are maxed out. I know it doesn't really necessarily help me a ton, but still I kinda wanna get them. Uh, just as a you know as an accomplishment. Same reason to get the Zenith. We don't really need it after the Moon Lord is down, but uh, you know. Might as well get it for like bragging rights. Ooh. Don't you dare. Now I gotta be careful because apparently it was more dangerous than I remember it. It's quite the fall. Okay. So now focus up. And watch out for any corrupted mimics. Um, or like crimson mimics, I suppose. And any other. Oh, we have a demon. I touch things a bit. I will get my hands on some souls of night in here, but I feel like the current bottleneck on souls is souls of light. Probably won't need them for anything either either way, so you know. And here these guys. It's fine. Oh, there is the, the tortured soul. I do still need that. I'm not gonna kill him again. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Uh, but I do need to figure out where exactly this doll comes from. What's the deal with this demon? I don't remember him being here before. Red Devil. Seems like he's kinda new. Not sure what caused him to spawn, but... There's some hearts there. That's fine. Now, where would I be able to get my hands on that soul? I got a magma snail, that's fine. Uh, I never really ended up completely explore exploring hell, so... There might still be some chests lying around. One of those chests might co might contain the, the doll I'm looking for. That was another one of my goals for the series, to actually figure out what his deal is. Uh, this tortured soul guy. So we can make some progress on that while looking for the magma stone. It seems very peaceful around here for some reason. Unlike when... Oh, those are... Those are fire blocks. Not be staying on them. Uh, I guess let's just fly over, really. And there we go. I don't have a fire resistance potion on me at the moment, but I think we should be fine since I have uh, decent wings. I don't think it will be that crazy. And that being said, this. Oh, there we go. We do have somewhere to land. I got a little bit worried. Okay, Mr. Serpent. I would appreciate it. Did not do that. And it would also be nice if I didn't just randomly run into lava. And that, that's usually a good idea. I guess I'll resupply on Fire Blossom as well. Not that I really need it. Kinda cool on supplies from that one. Okay. Seems like we don't actually have many... Many more buildings this way. Just like this uh, weird plant biome thing. Like a bunch of vines. And uh, I'm not seeing absolutely any buildings, which is kind of what I'm looking for. So that's not ideal. Maybe we need to go the other way. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it seems like it's just uh, gonna continue like this until the end of the world. But I do still want to explore it, just so I can be sure. It's not here. There's no need to rush it. I don't want to end up landing in lava. That would be less than ideal. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like... we get anything out of here. Why is my HP so low? What have I been taking damage from? Uh, oh, we have a, a chest up there. It's interesting. What kind of chest are you? I need to take out my key from Chester. There we go. And we perhaps have a magma stone inside? No, we have a flame lash. Yeah, I don't really care about that, I'm gonna be honest with you. So I think we can safely ignore the contents of this chest. And we have another demon. I gotta watch out that they don't actually carry a doll with them. Not really in the mood for fighting the Wall of Flesh right now. Alright, well, I think it's actually gonna be faster for me. To actually come back down to hell from above. 
And uh, we can check out the right side. See what the deal is there. I think the magma stone actually comes from uh, like drops, not from chests. So ideally I would like to fight some mobs down there, but this time around just didn't seem very populated for some reason. Like the first time I came in, when I got mercilessly destroyed, I had both a mimic, a red devil, I got like some random slimes jumping around. For some reason, right now they're feeling shy. So let's see maybe if the right side is feeling a little bit more, I don't know, open to interactions, I guess. A bunch of crystals grew in here. Kinda interesting. Okay. Oh, we have another chest over here. Let's see. I really need to get a new mouse. Okay. Meteorite. That's fine. Might as well pop one of these. Doesn't hurt. Okay, we have a red devil. Let's take him out. Not sure if he has any special drop that the other devils don't, but he's definitely significantly tougher. Okay, yeah, seems like this place is unexplored, so let's check out this chest. Cartridge potion, an inferno potion is quite nice. Ornate shadow key, don't really care about that. I don't want to get my hands on these potions though. Man, my inventory really is a mess. I don't know why I'm carrying so much stuff with me. Oh, stop. Stop, Chester. Chester, stay, stay, Chester, don't move, please. You can throw away these arrows, I guess. Chester just uh, does not want to help me out. There we go, finally. Let's drop off some of this stuff. And make some space. And look through things over here. Do we have any, any possible chests, perhaps? No, doesn't seem like it. That's fine. We have a name. Take him out. And obsidian skin potion, really. Oh, that's nice. I'll just use that real quick. And then let's check out this part. Okay, so at least we have a little uh, a little to explore here, some buildings and stuff. Hey Mr. Imp. Doesn't seem like there are any chests in this one, unfortunately. Let's make our way out and continue with the exploration. Because I don't have that much time in the episode remaining. And I would like to look at at least a few more. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Got this serpent. He's causing problems. Why can I not? There you go. I'll make my own, my own entrance. If the other one is blocked. Uh, we have this guy somehow getting in here. And no, doesn't seem like we have... Oh! Take out the simp. And okay. Doesn't seem like he dropped anything. We have a few demons. Which is fine. We have a red de uh, devil though, so... Gotta be careful about that one. Okay, let's not step on the... Chester, you really know how to annoy me. Okay. And seems like we have some more Inferno potions, that's nice. I guess I'll take the torches. Uh, is there anything below? Uh, I guess I do have a fire resistance potion now, so... It should actually be safe for me to explore this. Seems like we have two more chests, actually. Which is more than what I could have asked for. So, mana regen, don't really care about that. These Inferno potions are nice though. Because I can't really make them, I don't think, so... Uh, having some of them for <laughs> fighting bosses... Seems, uh, seems pretty nice. A nice extra bit of damage. Okay, what is happening here? Still no though, which is kind of disappointing. It's kind of the main thing I'm trying to find here, that second doll, not the, the guide wood doll, but, you know, I, I don't really know how it's called, but probably not what I'm looking for, but I'm just uh, not exactly sure where to find it. 
I did uh, get it in some way in my previous playthrough. So I guess it must uh, just be by doing normal stuff in hell that you get it. So not too worried about it. Yeah, we have a little bit more fire resistance. Nothing here. Oh, close. Oh, that's a guide wound though. Gotta be careful that it doesn't end up uh, in the lava. And there we go. Let's uh, make sure we pick that up before it causes any problems. There we go. We need the hollow torch. And how are we looking at these chests? Some more that. Ooh, life force potions. That's quite big. Since that fish is so annoying to catch. It's gonna save me a lot of time. Okay, we have one more chest down here. And that contains... I don't really care about the gravity potions. How about this side? Do we have any chests? That doesn't really seem to be the case. I'm probably running over time on the episode. Yeah, we're above 30 minutes. I don't want to finish the exploration, but... I also don't want to make the episode too long. Let's... Uh... Get this chest at least. And then we can end things off. Fortunately, did not manage to get my hands on a magma stone. Or the, the voodoo doll. Okay, we have plenty of hell to explore yet. Uh, uh, still. So, that's something we can do. But uh, night time is coming. So, next episode, it will be some boss fights that are on the menu. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Until then.